Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be going over weight based dosage and calculations. This video is part of a dosage and calculation series so if you are doing this in school and need some more reviews or practice questions you can access the playlist above and it will take you to those videos and you can access those quizzes that go along with the videos. So what I want to do with this video if you want to work these problems along with me I have a worksheet I've created it should be popping up somewhere in this region you can click that and download the worksheet and work the problems as I work them. And then also whenever you're done watching this lecture be sure to go to my website RegisterNurseRN.com and take the free quiz that will give you a bunch of weight based dosage and calculations so you can have extra practice because that's the key getting good with these problems is to practice them over and over. So let's get started. This problem says doctor orders 12 milligrams per kilogram of acyclovir. The patient weighs 115 pounds. A cyclovir is supplied as 100 milligrams per 2 milliliters. How many milliliters per dose will you administer? So let's look at this question. Right off we can tell that this is a weight based problem because the doctor has ordered a cyclovir and the dosage is in weight based form. So this is very important, we're going to underline that because for every kilogram that the patient weighs we're going to give 12 milligrams of that drug and the patient weighs 115 pounds so let's underline that because that's an important part too. And we have the acyclovir here and it tells us that we are supplied with 100 milligrams for every 2 milliliters there's 100 milligrams in there. So we have some converting to do. Whenever I work dosage and calculation problems, I like to use dimensional analysis. If you're not familiar with dimensional analysis, you can access the video above and it can, it'll show you how to set up the problem. So let's set up our problem. Now, what are we trying to get to? We're trying to get to milliliters per dose. That's where we're going. And whenever I set up my dimensional analysis problems, I like to put what my goal is. And this is also another important part. So very first thing we want to do is we want to convert our patient's weight, which is in pounds, to kilograms. So let's do that. So 115 pounds is what our patient weighs. And we're going to convert that to kilograms. So we know that there's 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. Okay, we've converted that. We've canceled our pounds out. We're in kilograms. Now we want to see how many milligrams we're actually going to give this patient based on how much they weigh. So let's figure that out. So from the order, we know that one kilogram equals 12 milligrams. So one kilogram equals 12 milligrams. And our kilograms cancels out. We're in milligrams. Now we have to take it a step further and figure out how many milliliters we're going to give per dose. So we're supplied with 2 milliliters equals 100 milligrams. So we're going to say 100 milligrams because that's what we're supplied with equals 2 milliliters. And that cancels out milligrams and we are exactly where we need to be, milliliters. So what are we going to do? We're going to multiply everything at the top, everything at the bottom and then divide. So 115 times 1 times 12 times 2 equals 2760. And 1 times 2.2 .2 times 1 times 100 equals 220. And 2760 divided by 220 equals 12.54. And we're going to go ahead and round to the nearest tenth. So it's going to be 12.5, so 12 and a half milliliters per dose is our answer. That's how much we're going to draw up and give. This problem says doctor orders 12 units per kilogram per hour of a heparin infusion. The patient weighs 200 pounds. You're supplied with a 30,000 unit per 500 milliliter bag. What is the milliliters per hour rate that you will set this infusion to? So, First off, we know it's a weight-based calculation because 
what the doctor's ordering, it's based in kilograms because they are wanting for every kilogram that that patient weighs, we're gonna give them 12 units per hour of heparin. And they weigh 200 pounds, so we're gonna have to convert that to kilograms. Then we're gonna have to look and see based on this bag that we have, because we have a 500 milliliter bag that contains 30,000 units of heparin, how much we're gonna have to infuse into the pump based on what the doctor's ordered. So let's set our problem up. First thing we wanna do, let's convert the weight. So patient weighs 200 pounds. And there's 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. And that cancels out pounds. And we've already converted and we're in kilograms. Now let's see how much the patient's gonna need of heparin based on their weight. So we know that one kilogram is going to equal 12 units per hour. So our 12 units per hour is gonna go up here. Because remember, we're trying to get to milliliters per hour. Kilograms cancels out. Now, we figured out how much the patient needs. Now we need to see how much we're gonna give the patient based on what we're supplied with. So, we know that there's 30,000 units in this 500 milliliter bag. Our, our units cancels out and we're left with milliliters per hour, which is what we have to get to. So what are we gonna do? We're going to multiply everything at the top and at the bottom and divide. So 200 times one times 12 times 500 is 1.2 million. And one times 2.2 times one times 30,000 is 66,000. And when you divide 1.2 million divided by 66,000, you get 18.8 repeating, and we're gonna round to the nearest tenth. So it's gonna be 18.2 milliliters per hour is what we are going to set our pump on to give what the doctor has ordered. This problem says, doctor orders 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute of a dopamine drip. The patient weighs 170 pounds. You're supplied with a 500 milligram per 500 ml bag. How many milliliters per hour will you administer? Now, this problem is a little bit like the one that we worked before, but there's some more converting steps involved and you're gonna to have to take it a little step further and that's why I wanted to do this problem with you. So, we're getting, where's our goal? We wanna to get to milliliters per hour. Already looking at the problem, it says microgram per kilogram per minute. So, we're gonna be in that. So, we're gonna to have to convert our minutes to hours. Also, our order is in 10 micrograms and our bag is in milligrams. So we're gonna to have to convert micro, micrograms to milligrams. So we have some extra steps. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to convert the patient's weight. So the patient weighs 170 pounds. And we know that there are 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. So our pounds cancels out and now we're in kilograms. So let's see how many micrograms we're gonna give per minute based on this patient's weight. So we know from our problem that there's one kilogram that the doctor ordered, which will equal 10 micrograms per minute. And that cancels out our kilograms. So now we have our dose. Now, we need to see how much we're actually gonna give with this bag that we have. So the bag is in milligrams, so we've got to convert this micrograms to milligrams. So we know that there's a thousand micrograms in one milligram. Micrograms cancels out. And now we're gonna put in what we're supplied with since we've converted. So. Our bag has 500 milligrams in it and it's a 500 milliliter bag. Milligrams cancels out and all we're left with is milliliters per minute. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and solve this and then convert it 
to milliliters per hour. So let's multiply everything at the top and everything at the bottom. 170 times 1 times 10 times 1 times 500 is 850,000. And 1 times 2.2 times 1 times 1,000 times 500 is 1.1 million. And 850,000 divided by 1.1 million equals 0 0.77 milliliters per minute. But we need to get milliliters per hour. So we're going to take this a step further. 60 minutes equals one hour. And we know that one minute from what's ordered equals 0.77 milliliters. So minutes cancels out and we're left with milliliters per hour. And 60 times 0 0.77 equals 46.2 milliliters per hour and that is how much we're going to set our pump to to give our dose this problem says doctor orders two milligrams per kilogram of lovenox sub q daily patient weighs 155 pounds you're supplied with a lovenox syringe that reads 40 milligrams per 0.4 mls how many milliliters per dose will you administer Okay, Lovenox, weight base injection. A lot of times you'll get a syringe, you'll have to look at your patient's weight and decide how much am I going to push out of this syringe to give the patient the dose that they need based on doctor's orders. So um, what we're gonna do is first we're gonna convert the patient's weight to kilograms and we're trying to figure out milliliters per dose. So for every kilogram this patient weighs, we're gonna give them two milligrams of Lovenox. So let's solve. 155 pounds, 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. So we're converted to kilograms, pounds cancels out. And we know that one kilogram equals two milligrams. That is how much the doctor orders. So one kilogram equals two milligrams. Our kilograms cancels out, so we have the dose. We know we've calculated how much we're gonna to have to give, but we have this syringe here. And this syringe says for every 0.4 milliliters that we're pushing out, you're gonna be giving the patient 40 milligrams. So how much are we going to be injecting? So we're gonna convert that. So 40 milligrams equals 0.4 mLs. That's how much we're supplied with. It cancels milligrams out, and we're now in milliliters per dose. So let's solve for where we need to be. So 155 times one times two times 0.4 is 124. And one times 2.2 times one times 40 is 88. And 124 divided by 88 is 1.40909 repeating and we're going to round to the nearest tenth and we get 1.4 milliliters per dose that's how much we're going to inject in the patient for this Lovenox injection okay that is how you solve weight-based dosage and calculation problems now go to my website registerednursrn.com and take the free practice questions that will test you on more of this material and thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing to my youtube channel